I mean, I've been to Buku parties. As as a youngster, I've witnessed things that that puffed me up. You dig? I never experienced it. I'm, I would go to somebody. Think about it like this here. All the money he took from Craig Mack, Black Rob, G. Depp, the band, Danny the King, Day 26, Biggie, yeah. Biggie. Yeah. All the money he took from Loom, Mace. You took food out people cheering him out. Mm. Craig Mack died. Black Rob died. Sean situation. That man got to live in Belize. He got a whole new accent now. You did? That man got to have to change his whole demographic. Because it didn't. Enough is enough, bruh. Why was out this young city? Uptown finest, you dig? And I'm rocking with Video Wayne. Believe that. What's in the media right now is this Puffy situation. Uh, can, can we talk about it? Yeah, come on. Let's go. Uh, any communication with him? Yeah, any, any, anything? That you make I talked I talk, I talk to Harvey, yeah. And uh, I, don't, I don't think he went that out there publicly, so I'm not going to speak on it. Uh, but yeah, I talk to his people. He keeping his head up in there. He did. And, and, I, and, and it's a bittersweet situation, you know, when it comes down to me. Because... I don't want to see no man back there. Because right. I know how I felt being back there not so long ago. But at the, on the other end, you know, you know, he, he kind of, I hate to say this here, but I got to keep it cheap. You know, he f over when it came down to, you know, what I deserved and what I earned and the, and the stuff I wrote behind behind the scenes. Mm. And he sold a lot, a lot of records for us, And I didn't get uh, compensated for nothing. You dig? And Curtis and me being under under 18 and signing that bad boy deal on the making the band show, you heard me? He kind of used that against me and said that he'll, he'll, he'll get me prosecuted. Damn. Curtis and me being underage, you know, I'm making the band, bro. You know, you have to be 18 and old. And on that show, I was 16. So basically, when I was trying to get my compensation, my royalties and everything, he basically was like, you ain't belong on the show anyway. So I'll just let you go because I wanted to get let go. So I'll let you go and we're going to be left bygones be bygones. That's, that's, that's down bad. Yeah. That's down bad. Dog. If I wasn't such a hustler, you hear me? How would I have been able to feed my family with some shit like that? Like talk about it. So I'm saying? So when you, so when you, le so, when, so right at that point when you, you know, once that's, that situation is born, you kind of pretty much was on your own? Yeah, I mean, after Katrina, I was on my own. Before Katrina, I was at the VMA Video Music Awards in Miami with Puffy. Mm. You heard me? And before Katrina happened, I had to go home. You know, my, my my baby mama was pregnant. That shit changed my whole life because when the hurricane hit and did it, did it call me back? He told me to get back on the road, and I told him no, I'm not getting back on the road. My people here, so I I, I had to handle my business. I made a choice. My career or my family, and I thought like this here: if I was to die today or tomorrow, bruh, would Diddy be there, or would my people be there representing me? And I made my choice. And courtesy of that, that's how the me and the bad boy South situation dismantled. From 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 that point, did it ever mend itself? And to yeah, he 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 ended up hitting me later and apologizing after the after effect, you know. But it was a little too late for that. Because when I called Diddy, bruh, and you know, I live back there and miss you. So I, you know, I had I had to, to go El Camino, ask anybody back there. I had to go El Camino. I had uh, the blue Ferrari, Medina 360. I had Buku old schools and all this here. But my my stupid ass, I'm not really. I'm young. You heard me. So I'm not really thinking in my mind intelligently that these are gifts that I'm getting, chop. He's gifting you. I'm not. I'm not thinking as an intelligent man that I am not. That I need to put things in my name. They was just write offs from mm. from the bad boy company. So after when Katrina happened, and I'm like, I'm like, say, bro, I need to get my calls back and this and that. Back. And he was like, oh no, you said you ain't want to come on the road no more. You said you ain't want to do this here with me no more. So I'm, I'm gonna say no. And that's 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 that fucked me up. I I, I damn near wanted to kill that. Nigga. Honest, I wanted to kill him because he 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 was playing with people's lives, playing playing Monopoly with a nigga life. 
You dig? And, 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 and having the power to control the nigga. That's why I vowed to myself, you heard me, that I never in my life let a man control me or listen to a man's ways, parts. Listen to a man's ways and his dictatorship of how it should go with my career. That's why the bass saved my life, bro. For real. Mm. Say, bro, could you okay. say that in anybody else that was in the band, situation was kind of similar to yours? Uh, yeah. Everybody. I mean, but they, they kind of had a shot at end of the stick to me because I ended up having a deal afterwards. They never got a deal after that. Fred said, F and that's one of the rock with Diddy. He ended up rocking with Diddy later and uh, rode on the last train to Paris. Ness was always a great songwriter. So Ness and Diddy always had a relationship, you understand, because Ness was ghostwriting. Babs, Babs said, F Sarah, Sarah, I don't know what's happening with Sarah. Dylan always said fuck. Dylan said fuck everything. Right. Honestly, <laughs> a lot of people, yeah, a lot of people were jilting and everything, but <laughs> Dylan was the smartest one, bro, because Dylan, from the TV show to, to after that, you heard me? He always said fuck you. And to be honest with you, it was well worth it because when we found out later, you understand how much that man took from us, $30 million. Couldn't give us a million dollars a piece, bro. Ain't that costly? At least thirty million dollars. Say what? What, what, what was it that Dylan saw early on that made him feel like that? Honestly, from talking to Dylan, he told me he was like, he's like, chop. I didn't feel like it was worth it. So I just didn't. He said, say, bro, it's a certain amount of time of putting in work. Then it's another, it's another situation to getting what you deserve. He said he, he felt like we never got our chance. To get the respect that we deserve from putting work, and that makes sense. It didn't add up. You hear me? And we we so caught up in the money and the fame that we not really understand that we getting puppeted. You did. We're not. We weren't getting what we deserve. He was just squeezing the blood out of a beak. He was squeezing us until he couldn't squeeze us no more. Mm. Just luckily, I'm from a different cloth. You dig? So I I was able to survive differently. Just from the mentality, I grew up rough. I wasn't thinking in my mind, bro, that I was getting fucked over and controlled and all this here. I'm just happy I'm not sleeping on the floor on Saratoga, on Simon Bali, on Barone. So I'm just happy I'm not living that life. Look how it all worked, bro. At the end of the day, all the things around did to people. Look how, look how it turned back on them. And when it rains, it pours. You heard me? And it's raining on them real bad. Maybe it's time for everybody that got fucked over to rise like the Phoenix. And if they don't realize that, then fuck them too. Because one thing about me, son, I'm going to rise like the Phoenix. Um, the news, like um, the, 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 the whole thing, like when you first started getting a wind of it, what, what was going through your mind and how did you feel about it? I mean, I've been to buku parties. You I, I, as, as a youngster, I've witnessed things that I would that 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 fucked me up. You dig? I never experienced it. I'm, I would avoid somebody, but I've witnessed things just being around. It's a bit. It's a double edged sword, Wayne, bro. And I'm gonna say it like this here. Say, chop. Towards. Well, yeah. you. I'm gonna cut you off. Were you in some of those parties at uh, underage when you were 16? Yes. Have you ever been approached? Approached? Huh? Have you ever been approached in any of those parties to to get involved? No. Fuck no. No, oh. indeed. But at the end of the day, I've seen it. You dig? I can't sit up here and say I didn't see shit. I'll be lying. What I seen, I won't see. Was I a part of anything? No, indeed. I was too young, bro. I wasn't. You dig? I wasn't really realizing what was actually happening. And every time, like, if I go to the parties in Hollywood and, and all these places, they shut me out of it. I really don't want to say too much because mm -hmm. I believe this here. You dig? I'm not really the type of person that just throw people out there. I don't like snitching. I don't like bitter people either. So I'm not saying this in no bitter manner. You understand? But I will say, I've seen things. I love I love doing this here, Wayne. I love I love being a rapper. I love cutting up, dropping project after project. I love shooting videos. I'm damn near afraid. To, and it's honest. I'm, I'm damn near afraid to go back mainstream because I know what it come with. The higher you go, the more you yeah. experience things, bro. And it's it's wild to me, Wayne. I ain't lying though. And I'm not gonna sit sit up here and say you heard me 
everybody doing it. But the higher you go, the more it get wicked. It gets wicked, son. <laughs> Say, bro, do you feel do you feel anything in anything that people bringing forward that uh, Puffy has done was a crime? Wow. Um, I wouldn't say he should be in the situation he's in, but I think he should definitely get get a piece of the humble pie. How far they going? That's a little too extreme. Fifty million dollar bond, y'all reject that. Either he gonna get a cold felony probation situation for about fifteen years, or he gonna sit down for about a good seven. But they're not gonna give him life because money talking bullshit walk a marathon, baby, and you know that. Mm. He coming home. Delete that. Mm. Money talk. Yeah, this America, baby. Money talk, brother.